Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm just thankful and grateful. Look, we're going to read Luke chapter 4. And dear Heavenly Father, we come to you and we just ask you to enlighten us, Father God. Illuminate your passage, Father God. And bring us joy. Most of all, just bring us joy in your word, Father God. Help us to find joy in you this morning or this evening. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Give us the understanding that we need to find joy today. Faith, hope, the fruits of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The temptation of Christ. This is chapter 4, Luke chapter 4. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Wow. This is after he got baptized by, you know, uh, bat John the Baptist. Uh, this is in Luke chapter 4. Being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, shooed him, shewed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee. And the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I will, I give it. If that thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. Because you know, he was cast down to the world, so you know the world's the devil. So he, I guess that's what he's saying. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me. Because God cast him down, and that was. You know, all he had was the world. <laughs> so he's, he's telling Jesus he'd give it to him. Anyways, if thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written. Whew, come on now, praise the Lord. That's our Lord right there saying that. Whew, he's wonderful, magnificent. The power on that right there, because that was his words. Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. And him only shalt thou serve. And he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. And Jesus answered, said unto him, Ooh, he knows the word, but he, he's tempting him. It is said, Thou shalt not tempt thy, the Lord thy God. Ooh, he tried to tempt him with the word. You see that? How slick the devil tried to be. And when the devil had ended all the temptations, he departed from him for a season. It's substance throughout Galilee. Okay. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. Into, so Jesus defeated the devil. He already defeated the devil. <laughs> and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a, f a fame of him through all the region round about. And I just want to tell somebody, that Jesus defeated the devil. So if Jesus lives in you, the devil's already been defeated. Demons come around, but you got power over them in the name of Jesus. It's in the scriptures. God bless you. I'm going to get back to reading now. All the region round about, and he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Um, and when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, and he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all of them that were in the synagogue were fasting on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. 
and all bear him witness, and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? And he said unto them, Ye will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have heard and done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth, Many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land, but unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elias, the prophet. Elysius, the prophet. I'll figure that out one day. God bless you. I'm still finding joy. And none of them was cleansed, saving Naaman and Syrian. And all they in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him unto the brow of the hill whereon their city was built. And they might cast him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way and came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath days. They were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. And in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of unclean devil and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art. The Holy One of God. This is what the demons said to him. Because the demons knew him. The people didn't know him. The demons are from the devil. They knew him. He's already defeated the devil. So they were inside of people. You know. So that tells you. You know. Um, whew, glory be to God. Glory be to God. They were terrified of Jesus. So guess what they did. And Jesus rebuked them saying. Hold that peace and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst. He came out of him. And hurt him not. And they were all amazed and spake among themselves saying. What a word is this? For with authority and power he commanded the unclean spirits, and they came out. And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. Peter's mother-in-law is healed. Okay, here we go. And he arose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever. And it left her, and immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Immediately she arose and ministered unto them. The Holy Spirit was on her. Whoo, when that holy, when that fever left, that Holy Spirit was on her. Whoo, Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Wow, just imagine that. Whew. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. He can do all these things through you in the name of Jesus. So, joy, joy, joy. And the devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuking them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. And when he was, his, when it was day, he departed and went into a desert place. And the people sought him and came unto him and stayed him, that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also. For therefore am I sent. And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Whew, the kingdom of God in other cities also. For therefore I am, am I sent. Yes, Lord. Um, anyways, dear... I just want to say, man, glory to Jesus Christ, man. These are some of the things when he would, when he first got up and started moving, when he was still in his country, leaving out of his country, you know, you know. But uh, this is that was Luke chapter four, and I just want to encourage y'all, man, and, and and any feedback you have, anything you can you can say on here, anything you can help me with. Look, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to hear your joy, what you found that you like in here, and um. I'm just thankful to be able to read that and find some joy in that and be able to share it with others. So, 
you know, as I do these, I just want to continue doing this. And I just want to say, praise the Lord. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. And I hope you get some kind of understanding from that. In Jesus' name. Y'all have a blessed day. Glory to God. Glory to God. You got to praise the Lord where you're at. Woo. Woo. Sometimes you got to throw your hands up. Woo. I had to say that. Praise the Lord.